morning peeps welcome to this lesson today I am going to draw with charcoal if you have charcoal at home you can do the same otherwise you can do the this lesson in um, normal graphite pencils as well that will work fine so today we're talking about perspective now perspective has to do with building depth in your artworks by depth I mean that they are a foreground a middle ground and a background and this distance it you create the illusion of going back in distance as you look into the picture so today we're going to talk about how to do that now the first um, instructional picture I sent you or will post in the video I'll see if that works is about the fact that the farther away things move from you in real life the smaller they get now this is what this first picture is about you'll see that on the first picture there is a yellow kind of arrowy shape something like this the smallest the, the tree closest to you the dead tree closest to you is big it fits in here the one further back in the middle ground fits in there and the smallest one fits in there now the other thing with distance is that it the farther away things move it they get smaller but it also seems like they move closer together you will see that these two trees here the small one and the medium sized one is a lot lot closer to each other there's a huge distance between the big tree and those two much a much bigger distance between the big tree and the middle sized tree than between the middle sized tree and the smallest tree all right now the next thing you need to know about perspective and how to create the illusion of depth and distance in your picture is things in the foreground in other words things that are closest to you has a lot more contrast between light and dark values and a lot more detail you will see that is the picture I sent with a red circle around the big tree um, you will also see that the things farther away there's less contrast, you can see that, less contrast and a lot less detail. Then you have your background. In your background, your background will be whatever is behind these trees, right? So the sand ends behind these trees has the least contrast and the least detail. Now think about it like this. In reality, when you would stand in this picture looking at this landscape scene your eyes has limits right so you will see more detail and more, more contrast close to you less a bit further back and the least far away right think about it like that okay so I am going to erase these lines if I can at all, otherwise they will just have to become part of the picture. And how I'm going to start drawing this specific landscape is by establishing that line where the lighter sand stops. It seems to be around about and you will also see that it's not completely flat it's a little bit curved if you look carefully just slightly curved remember the earth is round right that's in the distance 
far away you can actually see here in the city it's difficult because there are too many buildings and stuff but when you um, stand on a beach and look out over the ocean you can see that the ocean does this it bulges a little bit that's because the earth is round right now I'm going to just indicate that little sand in there and I can't quite see behind the tree but I would imagine that the other one goes right there okay now I'm going to do the smallest tree sits around about here I'm not working on any details and stuff right now. I'm just indicating where things are. Alright, and then the next one is about here. You will also see the trees accidentally, I would imagine. It looks like they're standing in a line here, right? <laughs> okay, so a little bit more detail on this. This one goes far up. The branch stretches above that standing there. Okay, now for the big tree. Um, I think at this point I'm going to fast forward a little bit because this is just the, the back drawing. You, there's not really much that I can say about it to teach you guys about it. I think most of you know. So, I'll fast forward here yeah, now, okay. Okay, so now I have the just the basic layout of the landscape and I can start shading. Now you have to look at at the front. Let's look at the backdrop for this these three trees now. At the front closer to you, up to that point. The sand is light, you can see the crisp shadows because I would imagine this is a desert so the sun is rather rather harsh so the shadows will be very intense these crisp shadows here for this tree and obviously a little bit less crisp and there you can't see them anymore mm -hmm. so now I'm gonna start shading and the front I'm gonna leave mostly white I think I'll just add these little subtle shadows here and there and the crisp ones here, that one. The rest I'm going to leave as is. Right. So the, oh and the, the air back there, there's a little bit, but I'll add that later. A little bit of, not really shading, just value there. The deepest part is probably on the tree, the blackest parts on the side of the tree, a little bit here and there, and then down the parts of the shadow on the sand and there, on that sand here. Right, so let's start with those. I'm going to work my way from the foreground to the background, so to speak. So let's start. with that deep shadow part there okay and these are the slight the right where the lightest sand stops 
and the dune begins this a little bit of a dark stripe thing. Alright. And then it's a bit lighter. With charcoal you work on your values in the same way that you do with pencil. This one, it almost has a lost edge right around the so I'm just going to make this edge lighter. Right, and then I'm just going to shade the rest. And you will see on this side of this DN. It gets darker and darker up to the edge at the top right there. On this sign, it's like this light spilling over the DMD. So it's very, it's got a lost edge that you barely can see. And it, it, it is a big highlight there. So I'm not going to do anything right there. I'm just going to shade this or blend that a little. Right. And the rest. First, a very soft layer. And then, as it gradually grows darker. And then I also check in the darkest parts here, the value is about the same as here. So I have to check that I don't make this one darker than this one. I think I need to work on this very dark shadow here. Alright, and then I'm Foreground, this little mottled shadowy parts here. Just going to do that. That's just to break the whiteness. And here around the tree, a little bit as well. In this crisp shadow here. on the that tree first. Um, you will see, I'm going to fast forward here because this might take a bit. I'm going to use a lot less detail there. In fact, I'm not going to do much on that little tree there. I'm going to work a little bit more on this one and a lot more on this one. And all I'm doing is um, finishing the branches a bit while I am adding the, the uh, darkest shadows and the um, lightest highlights. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward here, otherwise this is going to take the, make a very long video.
And after this last little bit, I smudged about everything in the process. But that's okay. Because I can just add a little bit of detail in the background again. And we'll be good. Not too much. And you'll see that I faded out a little bit with my finger. Just to the contrast isn't too high. Alright, so there is this deep shadow. I don't know. Something I don't right there. Let me zoom in. Now I have to be careful not to smudge again. The sand dune does that. See, I'm just tapping with my finger so that I don't take off too much. But the other thing that looks wrong is that there's this line here that needs to feather into the sand dune. Part of the sand here. Doesn't really want to. Okay, so what we do is we make the bottom of the sand a bit darker. Because that line there doesn't look too good. There you go, that's better. Alright. Now, let's see what else is there to do. I can add a little bit of English in here. And as I go along here, okay, now the problem I have now is that that shading that I've added kind of overpowers that little tree. I'm just going to make that little tree a little bit darker and I'm just going to turn it down a bit there. There you go and add that, that one shadow and that little rock that cropped in the background as well. You can barely see it. Okay. I think we're done. So you can see that most of the detail and the contrast is situated here, closer to you. And as you go further back into the distance, it becomes less and less. I think we can add a touch more contrast to it. Yeah, just a little bit. There you go, now it looks more realistic and more natural. And then in the actual far distant background, you can't really see much. So there it's kind of hazy, that's what's happening here with this sand unit. The top of it seems a bit hazy. Alright, I'm going to leave the air open, the sky gonna leave the sky open I think we've done enough in the foreground we can just maybe work a little bit on this details here just to add a few more details here and I can blend with I think that's good enough. Tiny. 
When you blend with your finger, please be careful because if you work with charcoal, remember, charcoal smudges extremely easily. As you've seen, I I've, as I worked on the big tree, I lifted off with my hand almost all the charcoal on this side. So just be careful, keep that in mind while you work. Cool. So I think that's it for today. Um, what you let's just recap quickly. What you need to remember about the linear perspective or perspective in general is that things grow smaller as they disappear into the distance. That there's a lot more detail and contrast on whatever is closest to you that as they move farther away from you things you can see a lot less contrast and details and that your backdrop background has the least contrast and details that's perspective perspective helps you to create depth in a picture so you can see if you ignore all the other lines that I've done now if you look at the picture, you can see this depth there. You can see the distance. That's what art is about. Remember that. It's to create the illusion of three-dimensionality. That includes creating the illusion of depth and distance. Right. See you guys next time. Bye.